So once we saw the earthquake, we thought that we should do something about it since our club is about informing people, you know, about what's going on in the world. I was probably most influenced by the, the gentleman who was actually, uh, you know, born and raised there, spent the time there. I came to the U.S. as a as a project for me to go back to Haiti to help as a civil engineer. I make myself the voice of those nine million people, and plus the 120,000 plus who died, and for the thousands more that are missing. People don't feel like they're affected by it because it's not close to home, you know? Mm -hmm. But I feel like going to something like this and seeing how it's affected, like the guy who talked about being at home, like, it just brings it to life. On January 12th, when the earthquake shook the country of Haiti, I was distressed. The images on the internet and the news were terif terrifying, and besides all that, I didn't know if my friend Jack was safe. pissed off that I had to walk in the rain down the street that day to meet someone for coffee and then I was pissed that I had to pay and I took my angry self to lay down in my bed, turned on the TV and all I could say was, damn. And it is unfathomable for me to wake up one day and I, without warning have your life flipped upside down, have your home crumble to the ground, have the anxiety of not knowing if your family made it or if they drowned in the wobble, have that be the concern of your day.